Hello guys, we are back with our next lecture. In this lecture, let us go through the next question. Okay, so this question belongs to GATE CSC 2004 guys. The given question is consider the following relational schema. Okay, so I think they give two tables, student and enrollment. In student, roll number is the primary key and in enrollment, roll number with the course ID is the primary key primary key okay so now they are saying where the primary key are shown with underline the number of tuples in the student and the enrollment are okay oh my god so okay so this is a bit funny because in the student there are 120 entries whereas in enrollment there are eight entries so indirectly what is the situation here guys so there are total 120 students and only eight students enrolled for courses right Great. Okay. So now the question is, what are the maximum and minimum number of tuples that can be present in student comma enrolled? Where star denotes the natural joint. Okay. So now we are trying to perform a natural joint in between these two people in this in between these two things. Okay. And we are and they are asking what is the minimum and maximum thing. Okay. So this question seems to be a bit interesting, right? Okay, so whenever we are working with a natural joint, we always have, we always need to have one row common in between them, right? So the only row which I think is common in between these two is a roll number, right? Okay, so indirectly, what is the minimum value here, guys? So if there are 120 students here, so assume that among them there are 8 students with roll number 1, 2, 3, 4 and so on up to 8. So those 8 students have taken course 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So these people took some courses. So at that time in the result, we are going to get 8 as the minimum value, right? Or 8 as the maximum value to be clear. Okay. So minimum and maximum, both of them will be 8 only, right? Okay. So let us keep maximum as 8 first. Okay. Sorry. Sorry. The minimum as 8 first. Okay. So 8 is the minimum. So I think, okay. So three options are there with that. Okay. So now let us go through maximum. So when it comes to maximum, so can a student take multiple courses? Yes. So assume that one wants to take all the eight courses. Okay. So even now you are going to get in the result only eight, right? Yes. So I think option A will be the most appropriate answer guys. Both of them will be eight. So few students will be like, okay, so we understood the logic here, which you are applying. But if you give a small example, it will be beneficial for us, right? Yes. So let me explain to you. So assume that instead of eight, let us take three guys. Okay. So roll number one, roll number two, roll number three, name A, B and C. Address, let us keep it dash for now. Okay. Yes. And when it comes to roll numbers here, so roll number one, two, three. So assume that each and every one took exactly one, one course. So to get maximum minimum values, let us assume in that way. Okay. And they clearly told that they are having eight entries. So means indirectly here, this is a three and this is also three. Okay. Or let us assume it is 13 and this is three. So the rest of numbers did not take any course. Okay. Yes. So at that time, this course is AI, machine learning and DBMS. Okay. Yes. So these three people took three courses. Okay. Yes. So this is the maximum case, right? Because there are only three entries here. So whatever you do, you are going to get only three at the end, right? So this one will be mapped to this one. So one A took AI course, two B took ML course, three C took DBMS course. There is no clashes because there is one row which is common in between them, right? Yes. And when it comes to the maximum thing, so let us assign only one course for all of them guys. So indirectly here, the cross product or the natural joint what we will get guys so one a took ai one a took ml one a took dbms so indirectly here also you will get three so it is indirectly three comma three so in the same way here eight comma eight got it yes okay so i hope everyone got a clear idea with respect to this so in the next lecture let us continue with the next question guys okay yes so let us meet in the next lecture thank you thanks for watching like share and subscribe for more awesome videos like this thank you